Giant fish is a majestic looking creature that sports venomous spines. But tonight, as our Brad Davis reports, it's the eating habits of this non native fish that are causing problems in the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf waters are in jeopardy. A little more than two years ago, Ali El Hajj designed this containment tube called the Zookeeper, and it has one specific use to put lionfish in. With no known predator, the lionfish population is exploding in recent years in the Gulf of Mexico. Lionfish are a very beautiful fish. But El Hajj says that beauty masks its venomous spines, and the fish are having their way with just about every species in the Gulf marine food chain. Lionfish are gluttonous eaters. They're going to stuff their stomach up as much as they can every single day. With a female capable of producing 20 to 30,000 eggs in less than a week, the lionfish are now being targeted by divers in an effort to help control their numbers. Even the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission views the recreational diver as the first and only line of defense to help combat the lionfish population in the Gulf of Mexico. Until there is a natural predator, um, somebody has to maintain the population of lionfish as low as possible. At this Sarasota dive shop, Carl Badgley says more and more divers are taking an interest in the lionfish and wanting to know how they can help control the population. The realities with the lionfish is as it becomes more prevalent, we are getting more education. The more divers we have out there targeting lionfish, the better it is for our marine ecosystem. No fishing license is required to hunt the lionfish, and there's no limits on how many can be harvested. In Sarasota, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.